All right, so I wake up this morning, going to the studio like I usually do, throw on a brand new beat and nothing. So I get asked this question a lot, actually. Um, you know, what do I do when I do get writer's block? And my best piece of advice would be to put it down and walk away. So I guess I kind of wanted to show you guys that process of me having writer's block and trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do with the rest of my day and how I'm gonna finish this record. Let's go. All right, so like I was saying, this morning when I got up, I felt inspired to make a new record. Well, at least I thought I did until I got in the studio and fucking nothing, writer's block. When I first started making music, I would just stay in the studio and keep banging my head up against the wall until something came out or I'd force it out. But then I kind of learned you gotta walk away sometimes, come back to it and it usually fixes the problem. So I know this is completely off topic, but I just got finished watching both of the Soldier Boy interviews, the one for The Breakfast Club and the one for Everyday Struggle. And uh, man, they were really trying to fucking hate on him on Everyday Struggle. <laughs> Academics is a fucking clown. But uh, when Nadeska asked him why he had so many businesses, I lost my shit. Why do you have and you so right. many businesses you right. <laughs> why do you And you right. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend and act like I'm some kind of fucking Soldier Boy fan, because I'm not. He does a lot of stupid shit, so it's kind of weird to go from seeing him trolling like a motherfucker on the internet to actually spitting some facts, but he, he schooled all those motherfuckers on Everyday Struggle and they were trying hard to fuck him up. So I just got home. Let's see what these crazy ass kids of mine are doing. What are you doing? Mom left, so I'm playing GTA. Oh yeah, you're playing GTA, huh? Yeah. Yup. This dude decided to play GTA because his fucking mom left. Busted, bro. You're done, bro. Get out of my face. What the heck? Why are you guys playing video games without me? Oh, what? You want to get your ass kicked now too, or what? Your brother already you, lost twice. What do you mean? What you already lost twice, bro. Don't yeah, be trying to front. I lost twice. Don't be trying to front. I See you later, twice, Pikachu. Bro. Shit, Penny, what's up, Penny? Luke, what are you doing, bro? Get off of me. Stop it. What are you guys doing? Stop it. Uh-oh. You guys want to go for a walk, huh? Uh-oh. Okay, okay, get off of me. So, I know I said to put the music down and walk away for a while, but usually when I do that, I'll have the beat rocking on like my stereo, my fucking headphones, something throughout the day. I guess I just kind of start formulating a plan and words in my head while the beat's rocking in the background all day long. I got a bunch of different methods of writing, but like about, I don't know, maybe a year and a half ago, I was in the studio and I decided to take the beat into my truck and rock the MP3 while I was driving and see if, you know, that would help me be more creative or just even if I could write that way. So what I did was I took the beat, threw it in the truck, went for a fucking mob real quick, twisted up a blunt and I, I hit the road. And I was driving and what was crazy is there's something about the forward momentum well, you're trying to be creative and change the scenery or I don't know what it is, but fuck, I knocked out a whole song in like an hour of just driving around. It's turned into one of my favorite ways of fucking writing a verse or writing a song. I'll hop in the truck, roll up a blunt and hit the fucking road.
All right, guys, so I'm not really sure what did the trick, but when I was driving around in my truck, sure enough, inspiration, like that. That's how fast it happens sometimes. So I got my ass back to the studio, and I'm ready to record this record. Poured me up some crown, but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna call up the dabbiest of dreads, and hopefully that motherfucker's free to shoot a video real quick. So I'm gonna end this here. I'm not gonna tell you guys where the subscribe button's at because you guys been on YouTube long enough. You know where the fuck it's at. But if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell too to turn on notifications. No cover charge. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.